Disaster relief efforts continue in northwest Arkansas and the River Valley, and the Fort Smith Noon Lions Club is stepping up. Here to tell us more about their efforts, we've got Marty and Dean. Welcome to the show. Thanks for being here. Great to see you. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. So first off, tell us a little bit about Fort Smith Noon Lions. Well, it's not just Fort Smith Noon Lions. It's the District 7i Lions, which makes up several clubs in northwest Arkansas, yeah. uh, Fayetteville, uh, uh, Van Buren, Fort Smith, uh, Bentonville, uh, all of these clubs are coming together and uh, make up District 7i. So it's it's huge, so the, that means you've kind of quadrupled or more the relief efforts that you're looking to provide to the community. Uh, absolutely, it was something that it was an idea to, to, you know, I'm actually an employee here at yes, the station, you are. but also uh, a member of the, uh, the Fort Smith Noon Lions Club, Dean is not, uh, a member of my club, but a member of the uh, District 7i, a former district uh, uh, governor. But we di we're doing it in conjunction with the next our Founders Day, which uh, is once a year, and uh, doing it in conjunction with that. Lions clubs basically um, are, are the, the biggest civic organization in the world and some of the oldest civic organizations here in Arkansas. I know of three just off the top of my head, the Fort Smith Club, Fayetteville, and Van Buren all over a hundred years old. Wow, that's so, impressive. Yeah. And you're combining your powers for this stuff the trailer, is that right? Can we talk about what, what that entails? Dan? Sure. So we've had the uh, trailer for about uh, 14 to 15 years. It, uh, we've responded, the first one we responded to was the Bologna in Mayflower I remember uh, back that. in 2014. Yeah. And, and then from then we've, we've since uh, organized the a trailer in, um, for the alert trailer and we stock it with infant, uh, child, and adult kits that have personal items, toiletries, and things like that. Uh, we also um, like putting in tarps and nails, uh, things like that, that that will help individuals that have been displaced. If you were if you were to be knocked out of your house, what can we give you that will help you make it through the next couple of weeks? I got it. And you're calling on the community to kind of show up and drop off donations at various sites around the yes. area. Is that right? Yes. These are the, the list there, we're going to be handing these out. Uh, we're going to be at three locations, at the Walmart uh, on Pleasant Grove in Rogers, uh, on MLK in Fayetteville, and on Rogers Avenue in Fort Smith Friday. Okay. We're going to be collecting those. But on top of mm -hmm. that, the, this idea started to, to grow after the tornado hit in Rogers because the trailer that Dean was talking about was emptied out. Okay. And oh. so we need to restock that trailer um, and then received a $10,000 grant from Lions International. Wow. To, so we're going to be building kits, uh, some of these relief kits that will be distributed and have to be distributed within 30 days. It's a mandate of the, uh, of the grant. So next our employees, Lions Club members are going to be at these Walmart locations asking for these donations. Um, there's also a, 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 a QR code, there it is, yep. the Stuff the Trailer, and you can uh, go in there if you want to make any monetary donations. We're always happy to accept those. And I'll say this, that 100%, 100% of the money that is given all goes to this. There are no administrative costs. All Lions Club members are, um, are volunteers, yeah. and so, uh, you know, and this this is a, this is a a worthwhile um, event. In fact, the, the all of the the kits that we're making are going to be distributed in Decatur, Rogers, and Norfolk. All okay. places that are in need for sure. So you saw that QR code. You can also go to stuffthetrailer.com to find out more. If you just want to give a monetary donation. Or you could show up to any of the locations that Marty listed, find the trailer, and you'll see a support team there to receive your donations right. and turn them into some kits. Yes, Yeah, exactly. well, thank you both for joining us and filling us thank in. This is a great and worthy it. effort. Absolutely. Hope people come out and join us on Friday. Yes, for sure.